Unit 2 The King's Decision Reading When we think of a king, a picture of a dictator who is a cruel fellow comes in our mind. Are all kings cruel? Read and find out. Once upon a time, a lion lived in a forest. He was a big and strong lion. He crowned himself the king of the forest. All the animals brought him gifts. He felt very happy, but also very greedy. The more he got, the more he wanted. A king must have caught here, he thought. He wondered which of the animal would make the best courtiers. He called a fox and said to him, People, say you are wise and clever. I want you to be my advisor. Thank you, your majesty, said the fox, bowing low. Then he called a leopard and said to him, You are always alert and fast. You will be my bodyguard. The leopard agreed readily. He then called a crow and made him his messenger, since he could go to places fast. The fox, the leopard and the crow promised that they would be loyal to the king and serve him well. The lion promised to protect them and provide them with food. The lion was happy with his new courtiers. They always obeyed him and did whatever he told them to do. They followed him wherever he went. They found animals for him to hunt. When he finished eating, he left the remaining for them. So they always had enough food to eat. One day the crow came and asked the king if he had ever tasted camel meat. The lion replied that he never seen a camel. He asked the crow where they could get a camel. The crow thought for a while and said, There is a desert some distance away. I flew over it some days ago and saw a camel there. He looked big and fat. Lion asked his other of courtiers for their advice. The fox and the leopard knew nothing about the deserts or camels. But they did not want the king to think they were less wise than the crow. So they said it was a good idea. The next morning the four animals set off for the desert. After leaving the shady forest behind them and traveling for some time, they reached the desert. They felt hot and uncomfortable. After a while, the lion could not bear the heat any longer. He found it difficult to walk as the hot sand was scratching his paws. He was tired and thirsty too. Stop! He shouted. I don't want a camel meat. Let us go back to the forest. The forest was far behind them. The courtiers did not know how to take the exhausted lion back home. The leopard wanted to run away. The crow wanted to wait and watch. But the clever fox had a plan. He said, Wait here. I will bring help. He ran off into the desert and soon found the camel. Please come, my friend, he said to the camel. Our king wants to meet you. Your king, said the camel, surprised. I don't know any king. I only know my master and I carry his load across the desert. Our king is a lion, said the wicked fox. He has killed your master and set you free. He has now invited you to leave at his court. Come on, hurry up. The camel followed the fox to the place where the others were standing. They were surprised. The lion was pleased. Climb onto his back, your majesty, said the fox. He will carry you back to the forest. 
the lion jumped onto the camel's back the fox and the leopard sat behind him the crow flew ahead by the time they reached the forest they were tired and hungry the fox the leopard and the crow smiled happily at each other and then looked at the camel the lion knew what they were thinking they had brought the camel along so that they would get a share of the meat after the lion had eaten the lion had other ideas he was thinking differently from them friend you have saved my life he said to the camel i thank you for it you can live with me as long as you want and i will protect you the courtiers were shocked what was the king saying they had risked their lives to get the camel and now the king wanted to protect him they could not say anything as they were afraid of the lion he ordered them to find some food they had to obey him while they were on their way to search for food they discussed what to do i know said the fox let's make the camel offer himself to the king and request him to eat him they all thought this was a good idea they went back to the lion and told him that they had not found any food however they did not want the king to get hungry so each of them offered himself to the king as food the camel did not want to be left behind he also asked the king to eat him the three courtiers immediately were ready to pounce on him the lion stopped them and said you are all good and loyal subjects i shall accept your offer i shall eat you one by one in the order in which you have offered yourself to me as soon as the lion said this the three courtiers ran away as fast as they could the king had a hearty laugh he said to the camel i know who is really loyal to me you shall be my friend as long as i live the camel was grateful and happy the lion thought to himself to be a king is good but to be kind is even better